Urban Church Multiplication. 14 Proven Principles and Practices. The following 14 principles and practices summarize discussions held at Hyderabad, India in February of 2017. At its origin, Messianic Judaism, Christianity, began and multiplied as an urban movement. Return to the New Testament for insight into urban movements, including a vision for entire cities and provinces. Urban movements operate by the same principles as do rural movements, but must make radical changes to their methods and manner of communication, often with no denominational or religious identity. Urban multiplication works through many subcultural and economic groups that have interconnecting social networks that assemble round points of common interest. This requires that an urban strategy identify both geographical and sociological segments of a city that have no multiplicative church planting ministry or movement. Congregations that adopt a vision of reaching millions can launch and sustain small groups, cells and house churches that enjoy freedom to reproduce, adopting different cultural expressions. Continual training and coaching empowers many new leaders or shepherds of cells and house churches as quickly as these may start, grow, reproduce, and die. Keep all training imitable and affordable. New urban Christians bring with them their intelligence, skills, networks, and financial resources to sustain ongoing reproduction without dependence on outside or foreign resources. Urban movements can remain invisible to outsiders, growing widely before being detected by hostile civil or religious authorities. Cells and house churches may move location frequently. Urban movement leaders tend to focus on their task, saying no to other opportunities. They continually train and coach new leaders who learn to do the same with others to several generations of churches and leaders. Every urban believer must learn to tell the good news to others quickly, to make disciples of them, to launch new cells, and to pass on their training. Ministry leaders do not have personal access to everyone, and urban dwellers will not devote much time to listening. Every urban cell or house church shepherd must learn to make obedient disciples and to train others in turn. Structured training and coaching programs can facilitate this process. Rural migrants to cities quickly adopt new social relations and learn new skills. Most become literate enough to read or understand the Bible and discover together its teaching, promises, and commands. Rural Christians are now migrating into cities where they can form cell groups and house churches. Those who come as students at the world's 40,000 universities can multiply campus cells and house churches. Urban Christians need training and freedom to start and to shepherd authentic, highly participative, worshipful little churches, which may remain parts of clusters of such churches, as well as subparts of a bigger mother church. Training and coaching for urban house church shepherds must include steps to take for immediate implementation followed by personal reports and help with next steps. Coach urban workers in ways that these can imitate in training others in turn. To find help in applying these principles and practices in your urban setting, for free help and free materials, visit peopleofyes.com.